The prohibition order sought by Sligo County Council and emphatically granted by Environment Minister John Boland means that members of the Ward family are now breaking the law by living within Tubbercurry and its environs. The family has been linked with the town for more than 20 years. It currently has its caravans on a bypass road, constructed recently to divert heavy traffic from the centre of the town. Even though the order compels the wards to move out, they were not the direct cause of it being sought. Well, initially I sought it because there was 10 or 12 extra caravans had moved into Tobacco who hadn't been originally there, and they were polluting the town, polluting the shops, and generally frightening the life, daylights out of people. Charlie Ward and his wife have 10 children, seven of them are married. There are currently 19 children and 13 adults attached to their group in Tubbercurry. Charlie maintains he gets on well with people in the course of his travels. Where are we going to hold tension? Not me, Kim. This is our life. From the end of this one. How would you feel about the thought of settling in a house? We want to settle in the house, see. We want to get off the road out here. There's a lot of children here. The road is too dangerous for them. Trying to get some place to get them in. Charlie Ward sometimes deals in scrap. He keeps the bits and pieces near his caravan. It's unsightly, but he has nowhere else to put it. At the time the prohibition order was sought, when there were up to 200 travellers living in Tubra Curry, litter had become a big problem. But Councillor Joe Cawley says there is goodwill towards the wards in the town. We have one family called Charlie Ward, who's a decent family, who does their best, doesn't beg, lives, children are going to school and all that. Then we would like to fix up, and at the moment we're in a position, we think, that we will be able to require an old premise there that will facilitate Charlie Ward, whose main business is scrap iron. Now but the there are 13 other adults and 19 children linked with that family, so what's going to happen to them? Well, the premise we have in mind, if it comes off, will house, I'd say, about six caravans, which will be entirely enclosed inside a school, uh, inside a wall, or a high railing fence, which also would hold all the scrap iron, which would be out of the sight of the public eye. So you think this difficulty with Tubber Curry and the wards can be settled? I think the difficulty with Tubber Curry and the wards can be settled, yes. But the others, we want out. So there may be a solution found to exclude the wards from the prohibition order. But the local itinerant settlement committee is outraged by Minister Boland's action. The committee members claim the order deprives the travellers of their constitutional rights. The members say they may take the matter to the Supreme Court. And they also claim that the order is not representative of the attitudes of Tubber Curry people. I have been in various collections for different charities over the years. And I have always shown them that they'll come along and they'll give and they'll wish you well, and they'll wish all those people well. They're not that type of people, most of them. And I'd say that it's something that was got up in a hurry, you know. That, and I'd say that they'll probably regret it themselves if it came about, and I don't think it will. Were you surprised that the minister signed the prohibition order? Well, I was very surprised, very surprised. But this country of ours seems to be ran by pressure groups. Pressure seems to be put on ministers, on TDs, on councillors even, all the way down. And they seem to bow to it, and I'd say it's time for them to, to forget about that. And I don't think they'll lose votes on it, because I think they have to stand up and be counted. There's a lot of good people, and they have votes too.